Hello everybody and welcome back. We've had a bit of a storm or two lately, so there's a few downed trees around to deal with. But uh, today is mostly about eating and cooking. Going to be doing some bolognese sauce today. Um, it's going to take a while and I'm going to do some uh, fresh garlic bread to go with it as well. So we've got a lot of things to juggle here, more than you might imagine. So fire is on the go nice and quick and uh, I'll start prepping stuff as that's burning down. With a bowl at the ready, I'm going to start processing my vegetables that I need. I'm just going to use my open all. I'm just going to top and tail this carrot and cut it roughly in half. Split that in half. And I'm going to slice it pretty thin. Then take a few at a time, slice them down, and then I'm just going to dice it up pretty small. Go as small as you can. Obviously, if you're at home, you could use some kind of food processor or something, but you want this to break right down. Next up, we have some celery. I'm just going to take the ends off that. And then, once again, get it into strips. And then we'll dice that too. Then we've got our onion, going to chop that in half, from root to tip. This will make it easier to peel. Tape off the tip end there, and we can slice into it horizontally, just a few times. And then lengthwise. And then as you slice through, it'll dice. That's my vegetables all prepped. About as small as I can go in the woods here. And then I've got some garlic to add in later. Just warmed up a little water by the fire here. And I'm just gonna add that into this. Bread flour, yeast, sugar, salt, and shortening. I'm just gonna mix up a dough. Now I'm just gonna knead this for five or 10 minutes. until it's all nice and stretchy. Ready to proof. Okay, it's time to add in our vegetables. And we're gonna sweat these down, get all that moisture out of them. I'm going to place another Dutch oven next to the fire here. Place in my dough. That's just going to warm here. I'll rotate it every now and again. And back to our other Dutch oven. That's sweating down nicely. You can already see how much it's reduced after a short time. So we'll keep that going. Probably take half hour all in. So 
So my vegetables are sweating down. Shortly I'll add some garlic to that. I don't want to add it too soon because I don't want that to burn and go bitter. I've got my dough here. I'm just rotating and proofing. Uh, when that doubles in size, I'll then pile on the coals, get that baking. Now that's just standard bread dough. I'll be making it into garlic bread afterwards. So it's a two-step process there. It's nice to be doing some kind of Italian food, some pasta dish. It's not kind of a go-to for me. So yeah, we'll get this going and then uh, we'll brown off the meat. Now most of the moisture has come out of this now. It's just the oil and the vegetables. So you want to make sure you're stirring this very often and keeping an eye on it. Making sure you don't burn. You can brown, caramelise, but not burn. Now I'm going to add in some minced garlic. And get that stirred in. Okay, so just removing the vegetables so I can move on to the meat. Extremely softened now. Now we're in with our minced or ground beef. You can do it in batches if you want. If you don't want it to just sweat out, you want to brown it. So just as my meat's finishing browning off, yeah, this has risen quite a lot. I'm going to attempt to put a slit down it, but I could do a sharpening this knife. Somewhere for it to expand. And that's just about ready to go on the coals. Okay, most of the moisture out of that beef, I'm just adding in the first batch and the vegetables. I'm going to stir in some tomato paste. I'm going to beef it up a bit with a little bit of a stock pot. And some red wine which will help deglaze as well. About half that bottle. And some passata. Salt and pepper, and a good stir. Give my bread a turn, because it's quite hot on this side from the fire. Now I've got a little bit of time for tidying up. Um, that bolognese sauce is going to take at least an hour. You may have to top it up with a bit of water. I'm just about to put a bay leaf in there as well. And the bread, going to keep a keen eye on that. Don't get it too hot or too cool. So yeah, a little bit of waiting now. Okay, the bay leaf's in the sauce there somewhere. I'm just going to add in some sprigs of thyme, which I'll remove later. It's smelling great. Now I'm going to put the lid on. The bread is looking pretty good. I took the paper out because it was burning a bit. Took the coals off, but uh, let that rest in the hot Dutch oven for now. Just make sure it's baked through.
while the bolognese is reducing down I've just chopped some parsley got some garlic and butter in here so that's going in there along with a glug of olive oil and this is going to be for our garlic bread I can chop that once it's cooled down cutting it but not all the way through I'm just going to start adding in that garlic butter parsley mix getting it in all the crevices could be messy this doesn't matter at all I'm going to sprinkle it all over with parmesan as well. Now this is some moistened baking paper. Make sure nothing dries out while it's in the Dutch oven. Just getting to a boil here with my water, so I'm just going in with some tagliatelle because I fancied it. I'm also baking that garlic bread as well, get it all buttery and lovely. I've got a skillet ready here on the heat because I'm only doing a portion for one. Get some of that in there. And our tagliatelle. Doesn't matter if you get some of that water in there. Helps loosen that sauce up again. Oh, beautiful. Okay, it's time to plate. A little fresh parsley and of course, parmesan. Well, I think it's definitely time to try this. Looks lovely. Ooh. Oh God, it is such a rich sauce, full of flavor. Oh, I love it. And that garlic bread. Mm. Oh, that is gorgeous. This is honestly one of the best cooks of the year so far. Love it. Mm. It's a lot more work than just opening a jar but it's a lot more rewarding.
just jam-packed full of flavour, you'll never get that out of a jar. And I believe quite authentic. Hmm. And I've been waiting for this for a good few hours. <laughs> You can leave this to cook for three hours or so if you want to, to let it really combine. Just add water if it starts to boil down every now and again. Beautiful. Anything from an hour to three. Well, thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it was a really nice one. It's a great way of doing a bolognese sauce. It's not too much work if you're at home either. Um, you can do something else while you're doing it. If that sauce does get a bit uh, claggy, just put some of that pasta water in it. Loosens it right up. Perfect. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.